Hi, I'm Alex from Suncoast Waterkeeper, and today I'm going to show you how to sample for enterococci. Before we do so, we're going to need to grab some materials. Sampling bottle with label filled out with indelible pen, salinity meter, and a bag for your sample bottle. Now we're going to go take our sample. Before we collect our sample, you'll want a site that where you can access the water six inches beneath the surface and have it be free of algae and sediment. Now that we've arrived at our site, we're going to want to collect the sample. You're going to want to take your sampling bottle and put it, open the cap just a tad, have it mostly be closed when you lower it six inches beneath the surface, and then you turn it over and open the cap a bit to collect the water. You want to do this so as to not let the thiosulfate preservative escape the bottle, which ensures preservation of the sample. Now that you've collected that, you're going to want to measure the salinity with your salinity meter. You're going to press this button to turn it on, the middle button to get it to the correct setting to measure the salinity. Take your sample cap beneath the water. This reads 22.7, and that's the number you'll record on your data sheet. First, you'll need your cooler filled with ice that your samples go into after they're collected. You're going to want to make sure those samples are buried underneath the ice so as to not be showing above it. Next, you'll need some gloves to collect samples with, bags to put the sample bottles in once they're collected, your data sheet with all of your different categories on it. Name of the site sample, the date, the time, and then your environmental conditions form, which has again the name of the site, the date and time, the salinity, the ambient conditions slash the tidal stage, the wind direction and speed, the cloud cover percentage, the air temperature, and whether or not it recently has rained. Now, for some of these, you're going to want to use your phone to look up uh, to get correct information, such as uh, what title stage it is. Next, you have your label sheet that will go on the bottle. You're going to want to use an indelible marker in order to mark these, because normal pens won't work when they're submerged underwater. Your salinity meter in order to measure the salinity of the water. And your sampling bottle which has a thiosulfate preservative tablet in it. It's quite small and is necessary in order to maintain the accuracy of the sample. So be sure when you're collecting said sample that the tablet remains in the bottle. For those hard to reach spots, you'll want a grabber that you can affix the bottle to and dip it six inches beneath the surface to successfully collect your sample.